Alright, today we have a LG G Stylo 2 model MS550. That's the Metro PCS variant. Alright, today we're gonna remove the FRP lock off of it. It's Google Locked. So, first we're just gonna go ahead and show you that it is actually Google Locked. Alright, so you see here we can't go any further. It is actually FRP locked. Alright, so now we're gonna go back to the welcome screen. And from the welcome screen, we're gonna go accessibility, then vision, and turn on top back. And once top back is on, we're gonna draw L on the screen to activate the top back menu. Alright, I'm gonna go to top back settings. Right, from when we enter the top back settings, we're going to go ahead and suspend the top back. To suspend top back, you hold on the volume up and the volume down button. All right. This is the volume up, this is the volume down. All right. Now that we have suspended top back, we're going to go ahead with the tutorial. All right. I'm going to go to help and feedback. Then we're going to search for voice access. All right. Now just tap get started with voice access. This is going to take us to the voice access help menu. We're going to use this link to get to the YouTube app. Alright, now that we're in YouTube, we're going to use the privacy policy to get to the Chrome app. Right, now we are now in Chrome. Alright, now we're in Chrome, we need to go to google.com. Now we're just going to search for anything that brings up a link to a phone number. So we can just tap that and get to the phone app. So I'm going to use KFC, hit call. I'm going to it's going to open the phone app. Now, once in the phone app, I'm going to enter a code so that we can enter the hidden menu. Alright, now the model that I'm using is the MS550. So, this part will differ depending on the model that you're using. Now once in the hidden menu, we're going to go to SVC menu, then LDB, and enable USB debugging. Once debugging is enabled, we're going to restart the phone. Go ahead and suspend top back. Alright. Alright, for this stage, we need to connect the phone to the computer. Alright, so 
go ahead and connect the phone to the computer once you've downloaded your ADB platform tools just go ahead and allow access All right, once that is done we're gonna open up our command prompt and load the ADB shell As you can see here, the device is connected. Alright, so that's it for the command. There it is. Yeah, there is a copy in the description. After running the command, we're going to go ahead and restart the phone. so as you can see here we have basically gotten into the phone however just to complete the process we want to go ahead and uh, do a factory reset from the settings menu
Alright, so we're going to go through the setup once again. The difference is this time we should not be prompted to enter the Google account that was previously on the phone. So there you go, the phone is now unlocked. Factory reset protection has been removed and you can go ahead and set up the phone. That's it guys, if I helped you, just go ahead and like this video. Maybe even subscribe if you don't have anything better to do. All right.